We begin tonight in Marietta, where investigators say 42-year-old Samantha Woolery's body was found inside of her apartment this morning. She had been stabbed several times. Fox 5's Joy Dukes is live with more. And Joy, you've learned about a potential suspect tonight. Yeah, Eric, good evening to you. Police are telling us right now that they have identified a suspect, but they will not name that person until they are in custody. Meanwhile, the investigation here has been moving very swiftly. Just this morning, Marietta police could be seen here on scene gathering evidence. Well, they tell us now that evidence leads them to believe that this was not a random attack. goal in mind is to hold whoever did this accountable for this violent attack. A violent attack that resulted in a 42-year-old woman's death. Marietta police say co-workers of Samantha Woolery made the gruesome discovery of her body Sunday morning after concerns she didn't show up to work. They came to our apartment to come check on her, found the door unlocked when they opened it and walked inside. She was obviously deceased. Police say the woman had visible cuts and that the attack happened overnight. Blue lights and yellow tape marked the site of the crime scene Sunday. We looked and saw a homicide tape essentially at the front of the apartment complex. President Richard Richard Rappa says he was disturbed to learn what happened just a few hundred feet from his own apartment. That's definitely scary news, shocking to hear, really. A Marietta PD spokesperson confirmed investigators identified a suspect and that it's someone who was known to the victim. They say the person fled the area shortly after the attack. They've not yet released a name. Now again, police are not sharing that person's name, but did say uh, that they are going to share that once that person is arrested. We also know at this point uh, that they are working to uh, get more answers to this. So they're asking people in this neighborhood, people in the community who might know this woman now that they've identified her to come forward if they have any other information. Her cause of death at this point still under investigation, uh, but we are told that there is no known threat to the public. That's the latest here live in Marietta. Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right, Joy, thanks so much.